This is a demonstration of a network man-in-the-middle attack on both an unsecured device as well as a device secured with a mobile intrusion software. The device on the left will be emulating an attacker or hacker with a penetration testing tool from Zimperium called Xanti. We are going to target the iPhone on the right via IP address and attack the unsecured device with the man-in-the-middle attack. The iPhone is not currently running any security software. I'll turn the attack on in Xanti with SSL strip enabled. You will see what happens to the iPhone user during the attack. Now using the iPhone, I'll open a browser and navigate to a few different web pages starting with apple.com. You'll see on the device on the left what the hacker will obtain from an unsecured device. You can see the man in the middle attack work correctly by stripping the SSL from HTTPS to HTTP on the apple.com page. The hacker is now collecting session data during the attack. We'll navigate to other websites like bing.com and you'll notice the hacker is still collecting session data. Now let's go to LinkedIn and log in. I'm signing in with the test user. On the left, the hacker is still capturing my session data. One of the records shows a password was collected. Let's see what the hacker captured. Here is the username and password I signed into LinkedIn with. Janecarum at gmail.com and password shadow123. The hacker successfully captured the username and password during this attack. Many times users have the same password for other services like email and other social profiles. This data can now be used to log into other sites to begin a sophisticated attack on the target. Now we are going to show the same scenario as before except the device will be protected with a mobile intrusion software from Zimperium called Zips. We use the same iPhone that did not have security software running but this time Zips will be active. I'll start the security software Zips. You can see at the top in the banner Zips states you are protected. I'll close Zips, but it is still running in the background for continuous protection. Now back on the left, I'll open Xanti again to emulate the attacker. I'll target the iPhone on the right via IP address, but this time with Zips running. Once targeted on the left, I'll run the man in the middle attack with SSL strip to hijack the session data from the user. We will then show how Zips protects you and your device. I've targeted the iPhone in Xanti. I'll click on man in the middle and begin the attack just like I did earlier. As soon as I turn it on, you can see on the right, Zips almost instantly detects the man in the middle attack. Then it disables the Wi-Fi connection to protect the device and the user's data. Zips is protecting against a network-based attack like in the previous scenario. Zips notifies the user and displays some of the data regarding the attack. You can see the type of attack, the network you are using, and the attacker's IP address. Administrators can find more detailed information regarding the attack and enforcement policies in Z Console. If you would like to learn more about C Console or install Zips at your company, please contact us for an evaluation.